Hey there folks, I know it's been a while and I'm sorry about that. Before I get into this really short little battle, I just have a quick announcement to make, and that is that over the next 16 battles I'm going to be going through kind of a spring cleaning and retiring the teams that I just no longer want to use, either because they're not good enough or just because I think I've, they've uh, run their course. Uh, this team originally did not make the cut. This was originally going to be the final battle with this team. But based on some developments on Small Gun, I'm not going to have to do that. I'm really happy about that. Uh, in short, Small Gun Doubles has taken off uh, thanks to the fact that uh, Doubles is now supported on Pokemon Showdown and thanks to the concerted efforts of some members of the community for making Smog on Doubles an extremely active tier, so active that I feel confident that come April, I will be able to come up with a tier list for Smog on Doubles and therefore, or rather a U OU list, therefore I'll be able to have a UU list for Smog on Doubles and this team will almost certainly qualify for uh, Smog on Doubles UU. So that makes me so freaking happy and... That's just, it's going to be amazing. So anyway, my opponent is just some random person on random Wi-Fi. Um, I am thinking Crobat should probably, is probably just going to go for Taunt first turn and I'll, it'll eat up my Mental Herb. But he doesn't. He actually goes for um, Super Fang and I think, oh god, Super Fang and now Night Slash. Mushana survives on 10 HP. I could not sur uh, I could not believe it. I'm so, so happy. That was so close. And now I get a crit against Haxorus. Uh, so Haxorus is going to go down, and I'm going to be able to set up my Trick Room. Now, you could say that the crit didn't really matter. First of all, I'm not sure that it was even needed. Probably was. I'll do the calc. But if it wasn't needed, then I would have been able to take him out on the next turn with my Lantern now that it's slower and the Trick Room is up. So now out is going to come Staraptor. Uh, I'm thinking this should be great. I'll be able to split the difference. Go for uh, Psychic against Crobat, and go for Thunderbolt against... Uh, Star Raptor, and that should be a double kill. So anyway, he switches out into Gengar. I think that's actually okay. Psychic is still super effective, but he has the quick attack. So that's going to take out Musharna, and that's too bad. But you know what? Musharna got off the Trick Room. It, it tanked those two first two hits. That was just amazing, and I'm so happy about that. So going to go for the T-Bolt against Star Raptor. It's surprisingly going to take it out. I am not sure what the deal was there. I didn't think Star Raptor was that frail, but... Whatever. I'm not going to question it too much. Going to go out into Rotom, considering both of his Pokemon that are remaining should be faster, unless he's running some kind of really weird Gengar set. So, I'm just going to go for Scald with Lantern, just to get uh, Scald or Thunderbolt. Either would have worked. I didn't. I guess I didn't want to take the chance of Paralysis, and the idea was get its health down low enough that uh, Discharge could kill it. I go for Discharge instead of Blizzard, even though Blizzard has a higher base power because it's 100% accurate, and I didn't think that Crobat could survive. Crobat does survive the super effective hit, and that's... Yeah, it's really not that big of a deal because now it's his last Pokémon. I was actually a little bit surprised that my opponent didn't disconnect on me. Uh, I was really grateful for that, but uh, I was actually surprised. I think someone told me that they've changed the mechanics for random battles, so now that if you disconnect, you're like banned from random battles for a day, but that can't be true. So anyway, that's the battle. I hope you folks enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.